to help us eliminate the risk of uncontrolled fires, please watch this next video. Before we talk in detail about fire extinguishers, let's talk about fire itself. You can think of fire as a three-part chemical reaction or a triangle. The base of the triangle is fuel. Fires need some material to burn. One side of the triangle is heat. All fire is hot. The other side of the triangle is oxygen. Without oxygen, fire goes out. Fire extinguishers put fires out by taking one of the three parts out of the mix and interrupting the chemical reaction. Knowing when and how to use a fire extinguisher is a matter of life and death. If you choose the wrong extinguisher or use it in the wrong circumstances, you could make a small fire worse and you could be injured or even killed. No two fires are just alike. Fires burn, spread, and are extinguished depending on what is burning. Fires are separated into classes depending on what is burning. And fire extinguishers are designed to put out only a certain class or classes of fire. The classes of fire are A, B, C, D, and K. Class A fires are those in materials like wood, paper, trash, cloth, and other ordinary combustibles. These fires can be extinguished by either air pressured water or dry chemical extinguishers. Class A extinguishers are labeled with the letter A inside a triangle and or a picture of burning trash. Class B fires are fires of flammable liquids like oil, grease, gasoline, kerosene, and acetone. Using water on a Class B fire can spread the fire to a larger area, causing more damage or even injury. Class B fires can be extinguished by either dry chemical extinguishers or carbon dioxide extinguishers. Class B extinguishers are labeled with the letter B inside a square and or a picture of a burning gas can. Class C is the category for electrical fires, such as those in appliances or at electrical outlets. These fires can be extinguished by either dry chemical extinguishers or carbon dioxide extinguishers. Class C extinguishers are labeled with the letter C inside a circle and or a picture of a burning electrical plug. Most homes are best protected by multi-purpose fire extinguishers. These extinguishers are called dry chemical extinguishers. Dry chemical extinguishers work by separating the fuel element of the fire from its oxygen supply. The agent inside the extinguisher coats the fuel with a thin layer of dust. It not only separates the fuel from the oxygen in the air, but it also interrupts the chemical reaction of fire. Multi-purpose dry chemical extinguishers are also called ABC extinguishers because they put out class A, B, and C fires. These extinguishers are safe for use on ordinary combustible fires, like furniture or papers, on fires of flammable liquids like grease or nail polish remover, and on fires in electrical equipment. They are labeled with the A, B, and C emblems and or the pictures associated with each type. Only try to fight a fire that is small and contained. If the fire is spreading, leave the area immediately. Also try to use an extinguisher that is easy to reach and in working order, that is, it is fully charged. Also make sure the extinguisher is large enough to put out the fire within 8 to 10 seconds. That's how long you'll have, because most extinguishers completely discharge their extinguishing agent in under 10 seconds. Most portable fire extinguishers are fairly straightforward to operate. If you don't know how to use the extinguisher you have, the time of the fire is not the time to learn. Only attempt to use an extinguisher you are familiar with. Don't start fighting the fire until everyone else has left the area or is leaving. Before you try to fight a fire, position yourself between the fire and an easy to reach exit. The exit should be at your back as you face the fire. If smoke fills the room, drop the extinguisher. Get on your hands and knees, cover your nose and mouth with your shirt, and crawl to the exit. The indispensable key to fighting fires safely is knowing how to use the extinguisher. 
your first defense against fire.